Good morning. And let me start you off with, wake the fuck up. Now I only say that because my news feed is blowing up with bullshit about Trump getting rid of migrant workers on the farms. I read one article where it says there's a bunch of tomato crops in Florida that are going bad because there's no migrant pickers to harvest them anymore. Farmers and you right-wing liberalists are complaining, saying that if you don't lo if you don't want migrant workers farming, then you should stop eating. Now, let me make a special note and announce to the world that I am not by any means a racist. I should be by call because, well, part of my family was borderline racist. My grandma had an issue with black people, and my dad, well, he was brainwashed into hating Asians only because he was in World War II. But with that said, I am not racist. I hate everybody equally. I like everybody equally. Unless you fuck up big time, I'm not going to dislike you. But when it comes to all this bullshit, everybody complaining about this immigration, deportation, criminalization, incarceration, and all this other bullshit for these illegal immigrants coming into our country. Some people are sitting there saying, if you're worried about a Mexican stealing your job, what kind of work are you doing? You know what, first of all, these people are uneducated. These people probably have a hefty paying job and they don't have to worry about some illegal immigrant taking over their, their work because they're in some office making $35 an hour or they're freaking got a specialty job, a doctor, a nurse, a lawyer, something where they're not going to have to worry about anybody taking their job of an illegal status. But if you look at the bottom paying jobs, if you look at restaurant workers, if you look at factories, if you look at farms, if you look at like handyman jobs, yeah. It could happen to where an illegal immigrant is going to take an American's job. Why? Because that boss, that company, can pay an illegal immigrant 75 cents an hour and a can of Coke versus paying you minimum wage. So, I mean, if you look at it from a freaking financial standpoint, what are you going to do? Are you going to pay someone $10 an hour or are you going to pay somebody 75 cents an hour? I mean, that motherfucker is going to be happy to make 75 cents an hour because he's got a little bit of money to save up. He's got a job. Fuck, he's already got a house. The United States government probably gave it to him. But, now let's, let's square all this together. So you got all these farmers all pissed off. you got the liberalists pissed off because Trump is buckling down on all these, all these immigrants. Illegal immigrants. Let's get that straight. These illegal immigrants. Now, it's stated, it's known, that this country was founded on immigration. It started from a long ass time ago when the first European settlers came into this country and called America home. And it's going on to this exact second. Problem is, illegal is illegal. But that's a different topic. We're talking about farmers. We're talking about liberalists and fucking farming industries losing their fucking minds because they can no longer pay somebody 75 cents an hour because those workers are now going back home. Now let's look at this from an American standpoint. You have thousands of people across this country from New York to California, from Texas to Minnesota that are jobless and they would give anything to be able to clock into a job to make money to pay bills to have a hobby to just stand up and go home and tell their wife or their husband that they'd have a job now that, that the rough times are over with so why not pay them why not hire these people who are Americans I don't give a fuck about your color your ethnicity black white Asian European like an Indonesian, whatever. If you're an American, you're an American. You deserve to have an American life. Have a job. Have a place to call a home.
that besides that too, there are hundreds of thousands of homeless people, many of them being United States veterans, who once they came home, the United States government shit on them. So why aren't we hiring them? Why aren't we taking these homeless people, giving them a job to give them a new start at life? We're crying because we can no longer hire or employ immigrants to do exactly what an American would love to do. Is it a small paying job? Is farming a hard work? Absolutely. I've never done actual farming, but I've done minimal shit. I've cleaned the barns. I've collected hay bales. I've stacked hay bales inside of silos and all that other kind of happy horse shit. I know it's fucking hard work. But for somebody that doesn't have a job, for somebody that's homeless and doesn't see their life changing anytime soon, to have a job would be a, mirac a miracle. You see all these videos going around on YouTube about people giving homeless people a second chance, giving them a couple hundred bucks to get a good meal, to stay in a hotel, giving them business cards, an opportunity to get a job either at their place of employment or somewhere where they they know is hiring. Maybe they got a buddy who has a, who's looking for work. I mean, there's people out there that are giving Americans a second chance. So why can't these big industries like plants and farms and shit like that think of an American before we start crying about an immigrant? I'm going to leave you there. And I can't wait to hear your comments.